Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, before I start today's video, I just want to say a massive thank you to my wonderful YouTube friends and um, a special thank you to Elaine12Jones for the wonderful video that um, you guys made and, and put up on Elaine's channel on Sunday. Um, John did vlog me. Um, he did record my reaction. Um, I'm hoping to have that up some point this week so you can all laugh at me. Um, but yeah, big, big thank you. I just kind of think I've had to take on board that I need to have a bit more faith in myself um, and that I've got some really great friends out there. <laughs> okay, before I start to cry, because you know I'm a crier, um, I guess I should apologise for this location. I am at home. You never really see this location unless it's in a vlog. Um, but it is now almost 20 to 8. And this is the best lighting in the house. So this is what we're working with, people. Um, John is out at the moment. So I have two puppies. Um, Darwin is sat next to me. Gilly is over there on the sofa. He is a little bit tired and cranky. And he wants to go outside and play. But it's raining. So I'm not letting him. So if you hear a little pumpy... Pumpy? puppy wine that is why okay and on to the title of the video um this is a fragrance direct haul if you don't know what fragrance direct is um it is an online store that is discounted that sells makeup and um shampoo and hair brushes and all those wonderful things that we love but is sometimes a little bit too pricey um they do different pricing structures for postage I pretty much always use the cheapest one, which is $1.99, and I think it came within four working days, so I think that's reasonable. Um, and yes, okay, so the packaging, um, it's not masses today, so it came in this box, it's that size, um, the packaging is like, it's all protected with this, this is called bubble wrap, um, bubble bags, if you know what I mean. And then there is like documentation which has, um, it doesn't say the prices of the products on here, no. Um, but it has your address, the delivery address, your order number and the items you ordered. Um, I've already tried to record this twice um, and Gilly threw a complete tantrum because as I said he wants to go outside and play in the rain um, and he knocked the camera so I'm starting again so not everything is in the box. Um, so where shall I start? The first thing um, is some nail, nail art pens. Um, the brand is Vintage Chic um, and it is four nail polishes. So I've got red, silver, white and black. They have um, a striper brush. They're a very thick striper brush, but it's still a striper brush in it, nevertheless. Um, so you can be a bit more precise when you're doing your nail art. I'm not the world's best, um, but I do think the more I do it, the better I get. Um, but sometimes nail art stuff is really expensive. Um, and for these four, ooh, so for these four, it was, I'm gonna say it's like 199, it wasn't quite two pounds. I think that's quite good. Um, so yeah, I was happy with that. The next item is a Yardley London perfume. Now, I don't mean to sound rude, itchy nose, um, but I always kind of assumed that Yardley was an older person's um, brand, and obviously I'm older than most people on YouTube, so I can get away with saying that. Um, but it wasn't until I saw on Sprinkle of, Sp ooh, 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 Sprinkle of Glitter's blog, um, she did a review on this, um, the Royal English Daisy scent. And she liked it, so I was like, and um, I've seen other recommendations that she's done a perfume before, and I've always enjoyed them. Um, I'm quite a girly, scented kind of person. I like vanilla. Um, Clinique Happy is my everyday perfume, um, so that's kind of where I'm at. On the box, it says, Daisy is an elegant, dewy, fresh, green floral fragrance, reminiscent of flower-filled meadows in the spring sunshine. So I thought, I'll give that a go. The next item I got, again, because I read on a blog, or it may have even been on YouTube, um, I saw a really good review of this product. It is the Constant Carol UK Silk Finishing Powder. 
Now, I don't wear foundation unless I'm going out, like on an evening, like today. This is the makeup I wore to work. The only thing I've touched up is my lipstick. Um, and all I've got on is concealer, like as a base. Obviously I've got eye makeup and blush on, but um, I really wanted to give it a go. So I got it in the shade Barely There. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a little play with this and I will probably do a review on it. The next thing, now, I know a lot of people use Fragrance Direct because of the price and the service is really great, but this is something that you guys might not know. Fragrance Direct do perfume samples. Now, I know normally when you see me talking about a perfume sample, I'm normally complaining because it normally means it's come as one of my um, four products um, out of my glossy box, and I don't like that, but when they're for free, I like them. Um, basically, all you do, they don't kind of advertise free samples, but if you go on the fragrance section and you sort it on price, you'll find them. Um, so yes, a girlfriend of mine thought if it said 000, it just meant they didn't have any in stock. It doesn't, it means they're free. So I got two of the um, Hugo Boss ones. They smell epic. They're very, actually it's quite a little bit more masculine than what I'd normally wear, but I like it. And then I got, I've had one of these before, a Nina Rishi perfume sample. So I'm looking forward to using those. Sorry that I'm looking that way, but I've got Gilly chewing on a bone, kind of whimpering. So that's why I'm like looking at him to make sure he's okay. The next item is by Sunkist. It's not a brand I've used before. Um, I think you can buy this in Bigger Boots or Bigger Superdrug. I've definitely seen it in a store before. But again, I, I'd seen a review on the highlighter that was really good. And I was like, well, I like a highlighter now and again, especially in the summer. So I really wanted to try it, but I only had it in um, a set. So I was like, well, let's have a go. So in the set, there's a black mascara, um, a duo mas eyeshadow in very bronzy colour, the highlighter, which is what I actually wanted, and a little highlight brush, which... I don't know about you guys, but I normally put a highlighter on with my fingers, so, but I'll give it a go. Now, the next four items are a gift, um, so I can't really fiddle with them too much. Um, basically, it is my niece Jessica's birthday soon, um, and she's a massive Girls Aloud fan, and in the past, I've bought her Girls Aloud eyelashes and things, <clears throat> but when I saw that Fragrance Direct was stocking Dainty Doll, um, I just like, I knew she would like it, so I thought, yep, yeah, that's what I'm getting, Jess. Um, Dainty Doll, for those of you that don't know, are, are? Dainty Doll is, um, Nicola Roberts, um, makeup range. Um, Nicola Roberts used to be in Girls Aloud, or is in Girls Aloud, which is the way you look at it. Um, so I got her a, I, um, a lip liner in Goody Two Shoes. This box is going to rip if I try and get into it, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I got her a, a lip gloss in shade So Vain. Please let me open you up without ripping the box. No. Okay, Nicola Roberts, your packaging is not... It may be pretty, but it's not fabulous. There we go. want to come out there we go oh and it's that kind of applicator um so it's a clear lip gloss it looks like a mascara but the uh, packaging is nice and i think the the that kind of packaging is nice as well it's just not easy to get in and out of and then I got two eyeshadows, um, one in the shade Treat Her Like a Lady and the other in the shade Jungle. So that is the Treat Her Like a Lady shade. It is a very neutral, taupey colour with a little bit of a shimmer. And Jungle, if I can get into it, is like a very strong, it's coming up really blue on here. Um, but that's how bad the lighting is this evening. It's like not quite an emerald green, but it is a very strong green. And is that it? Have I got anything else? Oh, 
Ooh. Basically, I ordered this possibly a fortnight ago and it's been sat on the side waiting for me to haul it. So I've not played with it. So I've pretty much forgotten what I got. <laughs> so I had got two bourgeois mini nail polishes. I remember these were 65p each. 65p? They're so cute. There is no shade on it, but they're like... Oh, maybe there is. Maybe the shade... One says number 48 and it's like a peachy goldy glitter and it says Sunset Rio and there's some little sunglasses and the other one is Techno Bar at Tokyo and that's number 44. They're just really cute. I have a slight addiction with bourgeois makeup, not gonna lie. And the last product is a lipstick. Um, Now, it's called UNE U -N -E, Natural Beauty. Um, I'm not quite sure if it is a bourgeois range or it's just owned by the bourgeois company or it's a sister brand but I know it has something to do with bourgeois and if I can get into the said lipstick oh it's like getting into Fox not there we go and it's beautiful it's in shade L06 and it's sheer but buildable. It's like a um, ready brown, but more red than brown, but it's got, definitely got brown tones in it. And so that is it. It has taken me over an hour to record this video due to lighting and noisy puppies and packaging that I could not open. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If there's anything you'd like me to review, apart from the dainty doll stuff, because that's not for me, um, please let me know down below and I will try it and um, tell you what I think about it. I hope you've had a wonderful day and I will talk to you very soon. Take care. Bye.